play to the player means when you're on a certain platform, you want to communicate with that person the right way. I want audio to go to audio. So when you're repurposing content and putting it all over, I want you to be conscious of that. Most hosts never achieve the results they hoped for. They're falling short on listenership and monetization, meaning their message isn't being heard and their show ends up costing them money. This podcast was created to help you grow your listenership and make money while you're at it. Get ready to take notes. Here's your host, Adam Adams. Welcome back to the podcast on podcasting because I couldn't think of any better name. Anyway, my name is Adam A. Adams. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the pros and cons and some best practices if you want to repurpose content. If your goal is, for example, you want a YouTube and if you want Facebook Live or IG Live or whatever it is, and you want content on an audio platform like the one you're probably listening to now, most people are probably listening to this, although we're recording video too. If you want to be able to repurpose, just some pros and cons and some ways of looking at that. I literally just got off the call. It's a discovery call. I'm going to keep his name private because I didn't tell him that I was going to be talking about him. So I'm going to call him D. What's up, D? That's not his real name. He might go by that. Who knows? That's not the name that I know him by. But the point is, I'm going to go ahead and hide his identity. But I will mention that he's from Detroit, where I've got some other friends. So shout out for all of you who are in Detroit. D, I know you know I'm talking about you, but hopefully you're not mad because I'm hiding enough of the information that nobody's going to know. And not that I'm saying anything bad anyway, but let's jump in. What are the considerations if, for example, you have on this discovery call, D said that he's been doing an Instagram live and he kind of wanted to take it up to the next level and turn it into a podcast so that they could make more revenue through what they're doing and have like a less informal or a more formal structure to the type of content they're producing. Another benefit of having a podcast versus like IG Live is podcast is really evergreen. It's like you record it one time and it stays forever. And it is a huge benefit for us as content producers, which is what D does as well as a content producer, which feeds into his business of coaching and one-on-one mentorship and like even online courses that he's being able to provide. So like, how do we make sure that we're getting the most bang for a buck? How do we do that? And one of the ways is to kind of like repurpose that content or to understand how you can cross those platforms. Here are the major like considerations. It's like your recording style, the recording equipment that you use, and then being able to play to the player. So those are the three things that we're talking about in this episode. And when we talk about the recording style, the thoughts process that you need to be having when coming up with a certain recording style is understanding and identifying who is this for? How are they going to consume it? For example, if I'm pointing behind me at that thing right there, you see it? You see that thing right there? You're going to feel a little left out because you're listening to it. And so the recording style needs to match what you're doing. I don't have slides for you right now. There's nothing that I'm actually pointing at. I'm not showing you the bobblehead of Adam Adams because two people gave me bobbleheads. I'm not showing that to you right now. I'm letting you have your imagination because I understand that you're consuming this content audio only, usually. So with D, I talked to him a little bit about like the recording style. Like if you're on like IG Live, for example, and you're jumping in and engaging, it's going to be pretty laid back. It's going to be pretty natural. It's IG Live. You're probably not having any slides. In many cases, you're probably not having note, even like a notepad. You and your friend are just kind of shooting the shit, getting together, adding value to others while you're growing yourself. It's a little bit different. So in general, you're going to be recording on your phone if you're doing IG Live. Now, is it possible to do other ways? Yes, there's ways, there's platforms of using your computer to reposting that in many different places. 
So what else needs to be thought of about that like recording style? You've got to be thinking of some of those platforms actually hold you back if you're using the same content in multiple different places. They want the information, they want the content from creators that are on their platform. Usually most of them would like that to be unique content. They would like it to be native. Write that down. That's a real term for it. Native content. Basically, they want that information to be only on their platform in that way. And so like when you're recording it, you'll record it in one style and you'll be able to repurpose things in different ways. It's just helpful. I hope that that makes sense. Let's, let's move on to the, like, the recording equipment. So I mentioned that D used his cell phone as he's recording like his IG lives. And the audio quality is going to be a little bit uh, subpar. The video quality is probably going to be a little bit subpar too. And the video is going to be vertical instead of horizontal. And you're not going to be able to repurpose it in a lot of ways either if you're trying to repurpose that. So when you're doing like IG Live, that's going to be used in some ways. So I want you to consider if you're going to have a podcast, if you're going to have a podcast at all, then you're not going to go and put like subpar quality like recordings on your audio. For example, you're not going to record it in your car on your phone and then try to make that into a podcast episode. That was one of the first flags that went off in my mind. I was like, woo, 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 woo. wait a second, D. It's not his real name. I'm protecting him. But I said, wait a second, D. I just want to make sure, like, are you actually going to record this IG live and then you just want my team to repurpose it? And he was like, no, 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 no. I know better. I'm actually going to, I want professional equipment. I'm not going to do that. And so I was really grateful, but I know a lot of people that don't understand that. And they would have actually just repurposed that content. And then you're kind of turning off some of your listener base because of that. Third thing is just playing to the player. Playing to the player. What does that mean? I don't know if you've ever played Apples to Apples or Cards Against Humanity. They're both really good games. Cards Against Humanity, Apples to Apples. These are types of cards. If you could imagine yourself with a deck of cards, but a much bigger deck of cards than normal, where you want your friends or your family that are sitting around the table, you want your friends or your family to basically pick your card. In many cases, like, let's say this, like you've got a friend who is a musician. And let's say they play, they're a composer, they play the violin or whatever, or they do both. And you've got all these different cards and every single person around the circle is going to put one of their cards in the making. And maybe some of them are Republican based, some of them are Democrat based, some of them are about like climbers, some of them are about CrossFitters. One of them is more like geared towards somebody who's a musician. Well, in many cases, by playing the musician card, while you have the musician actually up, they have a higher probability of resonating with that answer on Cards Against Humanity or Apples to Apples. And by the way, to my editor, go ahead and make sure that we get links to Apples to Apples or Cards Against Humanity in case anybody is curious what they are, they can click on it and they can go directly to an Apples to Apples or directly to Cards Against Humanity. They can see the game. They can even buy the game, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, play to the player means when you're on a certain platform, you want to communicate with that person the right way. Just like as a tangent, when I said I was pointing behind me, remember when I said I was pointing behind me and I'm saying that you're a listener well, that's not playing to the player. That doesn't benefit you. That makes you mad. That makes you upset. That makes you feel like you're missing out on looking at my bobbleheads or whatever it is that I might be pointing at. So I want audio to go to audio. I want Facebook to be more like friendly. I want LinkedIn content to be more businessy and more helpful. Like on Facebook, I want you to be talking about a lot about things that you're interested in, things that you enjoy, your hobbies, your family, your kids, the wine that you love drinking, the 75 hard that you just started last month and how that's going. But on like LinkedIn, I want you to play to the player and know why are people there? Why are people on that platform? So when you're repurposing content and putting it all over, I want you to be conscious of that. My team, my editor team, like when we do this for our clients or when 
they do it for me. What they're doing when they pull clips, if they're pulling clips, depending on like whatever package we have, but I want my team to pull clips of this. So we do like record the video and the audio. If there's clips that are more business-wise and actionable, and it seems like they would fit really well on LinkedIn platform, that's where we put it. If there's a clip that's like a minute or less, and we can easily, there's something we can do to be able to make it valuable on Instagram as a post, and we can bring it down to a square size without a problem, then we'll be able to publish it there. So you, as you're doing this, you want to play to the player. And by the way, just uh, self-promotion, if you don't mind, if my team is doing this stuff for you, we automatically are doing that. So like, you don't have to concern about a lot of this stuff. We will do this for you. We will create this content and we'll be able to publish it in the places that you want us to publish it. So yeah, play to the player. Like apples to apples, cards against humanity. You want to make sure that the stuff you're giving is the stuff that they want. You want to be able to put out those breadcrumbs to bring people to where they need to be, to be able to take the action. Go ahead and do your IG live or whatever it is that you're doing. Take this thing to the next level. Add your podcast, grow your podcast, get more revenue. Just make sure you're structuring the podcast in a good way, repurposing the content in a good way. The phone is, isn't is what you're recording the audio for like podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iHeart, that kind of stuff. You want it to be a higher quality. And I will give you a resource that can benefit some of you who might think that you're ready for lighting or like soundproofing equipment for your walls or your ceiling, or you might be asking for some type of microphone or anything else. I have like a whole entire free resource for you. There are some links on there that my team can make money from, like I'll be honest with you, but you don't pay any extra it's going to growyourshow.com forward slash PDF. It's pretty valuable for most people if they're looking to like get a new microphone, they're looking to get a new headset, if they're looking to just grow their equipment or see what type of equipment it is that we recommend. There's lots of pre-vetted equipment that we've put together in one place. Two ways to get it. I will just mention this for you right now so you know. Number one, you can get it by just going to growyourshow.com forward slash PDF and browsing there and clicking on the hyperlinks there and just going directly to it. And you don't even have to download it or anything like that. If you do want to download the copy, the PDF copy that has also got hyperlinks, but you can have it forever and you don't have to be on the website and you can save it until you're ready. That's a little bit different. You got to put in your name and email if you want to download that. So if you want that to be downloaded, basically you put in your name and email and we're going to email you that PDF so that you always have it. You never have to lose it and it'll be beneficial for you that way. So I am comfortable either way. If you do put your name and get the PDF, we're probably going to email you. You're probably going to be on our email list. You'll probably get more content. You might even get like a promotional email. Just FYI, I want you to know that ahead of time. That's part of our funnel and you should have one too. That's part of how it looks to start working with us. But we also make it free and easy to just go on the website, click on the links. Some of those links might possibly be links where they're like affiliate links for some of the equipment where you don't pay anymore, but maybe my team makes a few pennies. So just throw that out there. Thank you for listening. And the next episode is going to be me interviewing with somebody else, me just like getting the value from another podcaster so that we can give it to you. And so don't go anywhere. I'll see you on the next episode. This episode is brought to you by growyourshow.com. Grow Your Show lets you be the star of your show while we handle all the hard stuff. We offer reliable and affordable post-production services that allow you to grow your show organically without all the work. So go ahead and check out the website right now and feel free to schedule a call with me and let's take your show to the next level. Again, growyourshow.com. You just press record. We handle the rest.